हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्केल्स बिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आईटी प्रो रियली फास्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो इज 15 थिंग्स टू डू आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग द ओपन सूज लीप 15.3 सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अडो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Number 1 update whenever you install your new operating system or your new linux distribution you must update your system because every time you install your linux distribution there are some updates which are needed to be done as if i go to my notification center and here you can see it says software updates available so i will show you that how you can update your open source leap 15.3 to update it i have to open the terminal so i'll go to my terminal here i will search for it and here it is i will just open it now here we need to write a command and that command is sudo zipper update and just hit enter and here we need to give the password for our machine and after that again hit enter and now our system will get updated but as you can see it says nothing to do now because i have already updated my system number 2 install plp for better power management when you use any of the linux distribution on a laptop you may want to reduce the battery usage along with better performance of the distro because everyone wants their laptop's battery to perform longer and to get the best out of battery you can install plp which is an amazing tool which will monitor your computer and it will implement the best techniques automatically to optimize the battery life for your linux powered system to install tlb type the following command which i am going to type in my terminal so open your terminal and follow me command is sudo zipper space install space tlp space tlp dash rdw now just hit enter and this command will install tlp into your system at the moment it says the highest available version is already installed it is giving me this message because i have already installed it into my system well we are done with the installation process of tlp now we need to enable it and to enable it we will write a command and that command is sudo system ctl space enable space tlp just hit enter so we are done with enabling our tlp now our system will perform better and the battery of our laptop will have a longer life than it had earlier number 3 create system snapshot well the linux users love to keep backup of their system before doing any changes to their system hence it needs you to make sure to have a backup of your system open source is one of the best linux distros in this regard as it allows you to create multiple system snapshot with its better fs file system for that we need to open our yast software manager you can search for yast or you can simply write snapshot here and here it is it says yast file system just click on it now give it your password and now again hit enter now These are the snapshots which are already been created into my system. Now I will show you that how you can create another one. Just click on this button which says create. Now enter the description and fill out other fields and you will be able to create the snapshot of your system. So I will write here state after the update of system. And here we have three more option single snapshot, pre or post i'm going with the default one and here is the number it is the 29th one after that fill user data field and fill cleanup algorithm after you are done with both these field just click on okay and here our system snapshot will be created so give it some time and after that we will be done with it and here it is as you can see here i named it as state after the update of system and we had 29 before that now we have 30th snapshot of our system 
if you want to delete some of the snapshot of your system because obviously having snapshot takes space from your memory after selecting a particular snapshot just click on this button and confirm it and now you will be done with deleting a snapshot from your system number four install microsoft fonts well as you know that in OpenSUSE Leap 15.3, we have LibreOffice. And if you are a kind of person or a kind of Linux user who works a lot on documents, then you might want to use Microsoft Fonts. Microsoft Fonts don't come pre-installed in OpenSUSE Leap 15.3. The absence of Microsoft Fonts will likely cause you issues if you work with Microsoft Office files frequently. We can install all of them from the previously added Pac-Man repository. We need to open Yast software and here it is. Just click on it, enter your password and now hit enter. Here it is loading the repositories for my system and then I'll be able to search for Microsoft fonts and then I will be able to download and install them into my system. Here we have a search field. Just click on it and right here, fetch MS TT fonts. Just hit enter and here we have Microsoft fonts available. Just right click on it and here it says install. Just click on install and down here we have a button which says accept. I will just click on it and this is the detail of our Microsoft fonts. One file is 2.2 MB and another file is about 200 kilobytes. So I will just click on continue. It is downloading Microsoft fonts and along with that it is installing into our system as well. Number five add community repositories by default in OpenSUSE leap 15.3 we have only official packages included in the repositories however the default list of packages is limited and i'm sure you would like to find everything you need into your OpenSUSE leap that's where other repositories come in handy the most important one in my opinion is pacman we can add the pacman repository with Yast. So I will search for Yast here. Here we have Yast. So I will just open it. Now I will enter my password and after that I will hit enter. Now from here click on this add button and now click on this option which says community repositories and after that click on next. Now it is downloading the online repositories in which repositories we can install into our system and here we have Pacman repository. If you click on it and now click on OK and now as you can see it has started the process. So just click on trust button and it will complete the process. Number six, decrease swappiness. One of the ways to boost your system performance and to get best out of your system is by decreasing the value of swappiness. This feature forces your Linux system to use your RAM instead of your hard drive. Well, when your system will use your RAM, it will perform better and it will perform faster. First of all, I will show you that how you can check the current swappiness value in your system. By default, it is equal to 60. The command to check the swappiness value is cat space backslash proc backslash sys backslash vm backslash swappiness and just hit enter. And here you can see it says 60 means the swappiness value at the moment is 60. Now I will show you that how you can decrease that value. To decrease that value, we need to open a file and then we will edit it. To open that file, we need to write a command and that command is sudo nano space backslash etc backslash sysctl dot conf and now hit enter. And this is the file which we need to edit here. So I will add a line here vm dot swappiness equals 10 and now press ctrl o and press enter now to get out of this file press ctrl plus x number seven disable grub delay whenever you start your linux distribution or your linux operating system you see a grub screen on your system if you are using more than one system in your computer then it is good to have grub display on your system. But when you have only one system in your computer, then there is no need to have grub display on your screen. And in OpenSUSE Leap 15.3, we have grub display for eight seconds. 
we can remove that grub display screen so that we can start the system straight away. To remove that screen, we need to open our Yast. I will just write here boot. And here we have Yast boot loader. Just open it. Now give it your password. And here go to the boot loader options. And here you can see that it is 8 second. I will change it to 0. And now our system will start up straight away without opening the grub display screen. Just click on OK. So now it is updating as we have done a change for our boot. Number 8. Add online accounts. Let me go to my settings. Here it is. Just open it. Let me maximize this screen. And here search for online accounts. And here it is. Just click on it. Well, you just have to add your online accounts here. It will allow you to access those online accounts from here straight away. And you do not need to open your browser. Because of that, when you are not using your browser, your system will be using less number of resources. And because of that, your system will perform better as you will have more RAM for other jobs in your system. Number 9. Disable search. Here we have a section which says search. So just click on it. And here we have some of the directories or you can say some of the repositories which are enabled by default. Well, whenever you search for something, let me search for terminal in my system. And here it is. Now, what my system has done, it has looked for terminal in all of these directories as well. What I can do, I can disable some of the directories where I do not want my system to search whenever I look for something. So I will disable contacts. I will disable documents, calculator, weather, and I will disable clocks as well. Now, what will happen after you disable some of the directories? Your system will not look in these directories whenever you search for something. And because of that, your system will use less number of resources for less time and you will have your results in much faster way. And this is how you can get more optimal performance from your system. Number 10. Add Java. Well, Java is a very prominent programming language and many programs are made of it. Even if you are not a programmer or developer, you should still install Java in your system because a lot of program while running depend on Java and they need Java in the system. And many web application or web programs need a special plugins of Java named as ISTT. We will install it as well. So to install Java into our system, I will open YAST. Here it is. So just click on it. Give it your password and just hit enter. So here I will search for Java and after that just hit enter. And here you can see that we have Java Open JDK available here. So these are really important to run different programs in your system. As I have told you earlier that ISTT is a special plugin from Java which is needed to run different web application and different web programs. So I will search for ice T now just hit enter. And here you can see it says ice T web and Java web start implementation. So I will just check it. And after that, click on accept. Now what it will do, it will download ice T and it will get installed into our system. Number 11, add a shortcut to open terminal. As you are a Linux user, most of the time you will have to use terminal and you can open your terminal by clicking on activities button or pressing super key and then search for terminal. And this is very hectic in some of the cases. There is another way which we can use to open our terminal and that is by creating a shortcut. To create a shortcut to open your terminal, you just need to go to your setting and I will right click on my screen and I will go to my settings here and here. I will search for devices. Here it is. Just click on it. Now, here we have a section which says keyboard shortcuts. Just click on it. Now scroll down here. Click on this plus icon. And now we will create a shortcut to open our terminal. I will write here as command and in command I will write genome dash terminal. And now we need to set the shortcut to open our terminal. I'm setting a shortcut as control plus alt plus T. Now I will click on this add button. So we have successfully created a shortcut to open our terminal. Now let's see if it gets opened or not. So I will press control plus alt plus T. And here you can see we have successfully opened our terminal. Number 12. 
turn on night light well let me go to my display settings and here it is and here you can see on the screen we have night light feature i will go there at the moment it is turned off well it prevents the blue light would emerge from the screen and it will make your eyes feel comfortable while working on your system so i will just enable it and down here we can do some settings with respect to night light you can go with the manual schedule or you can go with the sunset to sunrise in manual schedule you can set the time period in which you want this feature to be enabled so just enable it and there will be no blue light from the screen and it will make your eyes feel comfortable and you will be able to work with more concentration while working on your open source leap number 13 install build essential well build essentials are packages for software development but even if you are not a software developer you are a general user there is a high probability that some of the application of your will require build essentials so it is better to install them and there is no harm in installing them without the need to install build essential go to your yast software and here it is i will just open it i will give my password and now i will search for patterns dash devil dash base dash devil underscore bases and now hit enter and here you can see we have patterns dash devil dash base dash devil underscore bases so just right click on it and click on install and now click on this accept button after clicking on accept button we will have this kind of list in front of us it means that these will get installed into our system so check those which you want to install and uncheck those which you do not want to install because this is a very long list and it means that you will need some storage into your system so after that just click on continue it will start to download and install these packages into your system and you will have build essential into your system number 14 uninstall discover discover is infamous for its crashes because it gets crashed a lot of time during working and that is why it is not popular among the linux users and it's not a very good app overall on top of that it also has the redundancy since we already have yes so as we have yes we do not need to use discover anymore so right here discover and hit enter and here you can see we have discover appeared here so just click on it and all the packages which are related to discover will get selected and now check this option because we do want to delete discover from our system and now click on okay try again and now after clicking on okay you need to click on accept number 15 clean up the system well when you are done with all of the things which i have discussed earlier in this video at the last you should clean up your system because there will be some files which are unnecessary in the system and you should clean those file so for that i will open my terminal first of all i will clean up the journal logs journal logs can grow fast and use up several gbs in your system so unless you want to troubleshoot your system these logs are not very useful and there is a way in which you can keep the journal logs of some particular time space i want to keep the journal logs for past day and here i will write a command and that command is sudo journal ctl space dash dash vacuum but remember put w in vacuum and after that press dash time equal 1d now hit enter and now it says vacuuming done because i keep on doing several times whenever i use my system that is why it says 0 bytes but if you are using it for the first time after long time then it will surely free up some of the gigabytes in your system or at least some megabytes after that when we are done with cleaning up our journal logs now i will delete all the downloaded rpm packages into my system to do that i will write sudo zipper space clean and hit enter and here it says all repositories have been cleaned up and that brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon as well if you have something to ask please leave a comment below we will see you in another video till then take care